Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about a subject that Legends of Total War brought it to light. And it's the units variety available. And it, you know, being tied to certain slots. And the, the video in general was really nice. And I'm going to leave a link to you if you want to see the original source. Uh, yeah, link will be down below. So... Legend found his solution for it, which units should be tied to main building a little bit, stripped down from the buildings, stuff like that. So tier zero, tier one, let's call it tier one, buildings should be like removed and the units should be put into category of the main building, right? And the example he, he, he showed us was okay, like spearmen with shields should be tier two. And the swordsman should be in main building. Absolutely agree. But it's it's not that easy as as I think legend thinks because you need to remember about situation that we had with dwarfs. Dwarf warriors were chained, switched to ma main building outside of barracks, and this made insane difference in dwarfish campaigns it was insane as a dwarf player i can say that that was the insane impact it, it had insane impact and units like basic miner was obsolete i never recruit them once even because i had always available dwarf warriors so my concern here is the balance. And you may think, okay, this is a single player game. What's the balance you talk about? You know, we have well established balance of a world of a game, right? And, and there is a certain pace of a progression that you get units. As Legend said, removing unit and recruiting new one is, is all, all mainly just ineffective. That's I believe the warband system that Warriors of Chaos have are very successful and should be tied to every faction. So the experience you get for even the crappiest units benefits you because you can transform them into higher tier. I use warband uh, upgrade uh, mod often because of this. So I can upgrade some of units, you know, the experience, let's improve them. And, and that just works. It, it improves gameplay for me, but leave the mod out of it. So I, I, I started, uh, I started this video with Kairos Fate Weaver purposely. Cause Kairos Fate Weaver campaign is pretty much the same. Despite having different unit types available, Kairos has available all three types of units at the start. And you always go with blue horrors, because they're the best. And, okay, I'm not going to say what you do, I'm going to say what I do. Usually what I do with Kairos Fate Weaver, I upgrade, upgrade Flicker to, uh, of Potential. And I, I go with Pink Horrors of Zinch. I'll go right. And I have a lot of pinks already. Then I... I depends if I have a mood or not. I demolish this and build it somewhere else later. But I have already army of pinks. And that works. Uh, could go with uh, many I tribute, right? I don't have to upgrade it, I can upgrade it too. So I have two options that starts on tier 2. This is temporary. I recruit these units just for the time being I have available this, you know, one of these two buildings. And I feel this is well balanced. Like, you have uh, Furies and, and Marauders tied to main building, but I recapture Minor Settlement and the Blue Scribes are here. 
I mean, uh, Blue Horrors. So technically, this building is not needed immediately. And that's it. You don't have any other unit available. And it makes... Uh, on tier 1, and, and that's it. You have all the units available on tier, on tier 1 building. That's great. When it goes higher, that's it. You have no more options. And I think solution for Legends uh, idea and, and, you know, is Beastman's solution. He mentioned how uh, Warriors of Chaos have available a lot of units at the start. Yeah, that's, that's great, uh, of course. But in practice, like I said, if you tied up good units... Uh, let's bring Skaven. Skavens have Skaven slaves in main building only. And tier 1, I mean buildings, any military, gives you clan rats. If you put clan rats into, you know, main building right away, you no one will ever touch Skaven slaves. They're a filler, but you will never recruit them. It's the, you know, the war scenario. So here's my solution for this situation. Put it units in the main chain building like Beastman. Every level unlocks some units to recruit. So, uh, Legend said remove tier 1 military building. No, leave it. Put the shield, shield variant there. Put it there. Leave it. Like the tier 1... I mean, it could start like that, of course. It could be like that. But if you leave the, the tier 1, it can be there. It's fine. Just leave the, 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 the shield spearmen. Put swordsmen into main building. Let's go. Tier 2, right? Let's put some tier 2 units. Uh, if I go, like I said, with flicker of potential, I'm going pink horror of zinc. But I would love to sometimes have some millet, me melee units, for instance. But I can't because I'm limited. So, I have four units here. Take one, put it to main building. Let's go Marauders of Zinj. So you have Marauders of Zinj with spears, and you have basic Marauders available. Go tier 3. Take one at least. At least one. I'm, I'm showing the least developed faction pretty much. Because they don't have that much. But take one unit. I don't know. Centigors or Marauder Horsemen. Yeah, take Marauder Horsemen. Put it into tier 3 building. Tier 4. Uh, yeah, there is nothing, nothing. Take one Chaos Knights. Put them here. On a T5. God forsake, get... Fuck, burning Chariot of Zinch. Ugh, ugh, I'm gonna puke. But, just... You understand what I'm trying to say? Each tier has some units to recruit. And I think that could work. So here we have the... Beastman building. Of course, Beastman works different, and there is a lot of variety. It it's it's great. It balances out great. But for normal faction, I would put because CA knows which units underperform in in representativity, so which units are shit and nobody recruits them, and I would put those shit units in a main building. So the main building gives you variety, but it doesn't give you like the greatest units. But you have variety on a plate. You can be like great weapons. How often you recruit great weapons in campaign over shielded variant, let's say dwarves or dwarf warriors, right? Great weapons put into, into main building. So here in Dwarf Settlement, it's, it's a great example. 
Remember, we had on tier 0, let's call it tier 1, right? After all, after all, there is a number tied to it. We had miners and, and war warriors. I would never do that. What I suggest is use main major settlement chain to put fillers. Actually, I have two ideas here. But let's focus on the main one, right? The main idea. I'll, I'll, at the end, I'll, I'll mention the second one. So, if you put something on tier 1, you will never pick miners. It's obvious. But, if you pick uh, the most underrepresented unit from tier 1, it's going to be great weapons. In campaign, people don't recruit that many great weapons. Put it on tier higher. So, main settlement building doesn't require you to get certain units from certain military buildings. But if you want to get them without building, you need to wait till you're higher. And still, put the, the, the units that are the least recruited. So, you take them as a filler, gives you units variety, and you do not screw balance of a game. I think all those boxes are checked. So let's say tier 3, we can have Bolt Thrower or one of the Rangers. How about that? On tier 4, I mean, tier 5 should always have a Slayer or tier 4. There should be always Slayer available for, for major settlement for dwarves. Always. Like... Same goes for Empire, there should be like a Reichsguard or something available from major settlement. When it's developed in, to the top, there it should have like four units at least available. And I don't mind, this is the second idea I think, if you unlock the major settlement, like if you build it up higher, let's go tier 5. If you, on tier 5, you can unlock, you can get like Slayers. Grudge thrower from each category you have one unit and it's not the greatest but you have available uh, you have it available but until you get like tier 5 you have one two units max and there are always major settlements always take something from tier lower but this builds variety you don't have to let's say you develop expand right and you have you take a tier 2 you have tier 2, like, something, settlement. Uh, let's go. Let's go, like, here. Okay, I have Forbidden Citadel, right? So, I'm building it tier 3. But let's say I need a recruit army. Crap. Okay, give me something else. Same situation here. Okay. Give me Lord. All I have available is Miners. Even if this is tier 2, that's, that's frustrating. On tier 2, I should be able to recruit Dwarf Warrior Great Weapons and Miners. And in case there is a unit, I don't know, like, it takes Skaven. Clan Rats. Skaven Slaves, tier 2 Clan Rats. On tier 3, a wolf rats or, or or tier two clan rats and wolf rats the basic one you keep the poison one tied to a building and the regular go to main building but let's say yeah i want to recruit some emergency army and i have either global or miners fuck miners I, I i swear it fuck regular miners but i would gladly take the wolf warriors great weapons difference in upkeep is quite big but hey i developed a settlement to tier two i sh i i'm trying legend you know i'm trying to find a balance but we need to remember one thing the end of su support is coming and i would not want to take ca from polishing this game because I, I think that the, the, the idea you present, like, yeah, let's strip tier 1 building and switch units somewhere. I think 
this requires much, much more, more work than like switching one unit to a main building from here, switching like one unit to here. You know, you keep buildings as they are, but you put a unit that comes, uh, you know, you add something here. I think this is less work. And that's my priority here to not overburden CA because we will run out of the time to polishing this game and we're gonna stay with some unfinished stuff or buggy things where CA could fix it over, you know, adding something that people used to it already anyway, but it would definitely improve game. But the amount of work is, is just too big in my eyes. It, they can think about it while they implemented the new game, of course. But we're in a situation when support of this game is ending. So I rather want to have, not the bandage, I feel a middle ground. I call it a middle ground. And, and just put some units to main building for every freaking race. So you're re rewarded somehow somewhat rewarded by developing ma major settlement and in it when you develop it the most you know the tier 5 you unlock certain units from like a couple of other military buildings let's call the get the shit ones the worst one of them all i don't know just something ca knows which one are the crap and they can put like on tier 4 we can have long beards, right? But on tier 5, let's get the Thunderers, Grudge Rakers. They're, I'm sure they're the least recruited unit. Let's take the Quarrelers, Great Weapons. And let's take a Goblin Hewer on tier 5. And Gyrocopter, a Brimstone Gun on tier 5. And maybe that's it. So we have like 4 units... This way, when I, you know, when I venture on a map, and let's say I have a settlement, suddenly I recruit it, it's tier 4, tier 5. I put it into tier 5, I hyper-growth it somehow, and I'm rewarded, and I can recruit emergency army from not one unit on global, but I have like 4, 5, or 6 units available to me, and who gives a fuck their shit? They're better than what we have now. So on tier 5, I said what we're going to have. Thunderers, uh, Grudge Rakers. Fuck me, that's that's a great deal. That's a great deal for emergency army. Great weapon uh, longbeards. Absolutely. They're not the you know, shielded variant, but they still going to perform way better. Two times way better than miners. Uh... Brimstone, brimstone gun gyrocopters. Amazing. That's a very good defensive unit. Brimstone gun are better now, apparently, but they're still gyrocopter. What I said, goblin hewer. I never take goblin hewer. Mostly because I'm, I'm, I'm just annoyed by the range and the low ammunition. But if I had it without developing building, if I had it available... I would definitely recruit it more often. So I think solution for for the problem you presented, Legend, is tied units to main settlement, put it tier higher from lower tiers, so the filler units that are under-recruited by people, yeah, people don't take them, and on tier 5, add units, don't strip it, of course, because that's that's no point. But add some extra units, and suddenly Major Settlement gives you six units to recruit seven. Even if, like here, right? I, I, let's say I have tier five, and I focus mostly on military, economic, and I have no military building, and, and I know army, some enemies coming, and I need army, and it's like, okay, what am I going to do? Miners, in, you know, I mean, miners. Not miners, Jesus. But miners, right? But if if 
units were tight to this, I could do so much more work and I wouldn't destroy the balance because most units are always taken from tier, uh, tier lower of a building, from certain buildings. So I think that's a middle ground. So every level has something and the final tier is like a couple of from each uh, from each uh, branches again problem is monogods because they they have nothing like pretty much they, they don't have it so for them just one type of a unit would be something but it's still better than nothing actually there is no problem I think it's I, I if I'm gonna go with the, the method I, I suggested here and we go back to, to Zinchen, each level will give me something. So when we go back to Zinchen, uh, okay, minor settlement. Minor settlement could have it too, but I think major settlement should be the place. So here, uh, The problem, yeah, the problem here is the two variants of a building, but let's stick to the one. Let's take tier 3. On tier 3, I mean, uh, tier 2 should have Marauder of Zinch here. My opinion, Marauders of Zinch basic should be here. Uh, but if you want to have demonic variant, then okay. That Pink Horrors should be at least tier 3. So you can recruit basic Pink Horrors on tier 3. Like uh, Dimensional Rift, let's say Dimensional Rift have mortals, the Chaos Dreadhold have demons. Oh, that could be solution. So Marauders, Horsemen, Tier 3, Tier 4, you take Sentigors, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, the, the, pr the problem is I, I, I really don't know how to do it, but I think the work needed to be done and put in some stuff could be uh, could do some lower uh, level employee at CA and still you know do it so the amount of work wouldn't be that bad uh, so yeah it's a little bit different than, than we had with Dwarves, because I think the Marauders of Zinch should be tied to main building. Because regular Marauders are tied to normal buildings in, in Norska and and, uh, and Warriors of Chaos, so they should be available here no matter what. But if we go tier higher, maybe Monogods should have equal. Because, oh right, maybe that's a solution. You don't go... You go tier higher, you pick up the underrepresented unit here, would develop a lot of uh, faction that had a lot of DUC. But if you go like Zinj, put one unit from each available here. So Marauders of Zinj, put it here. Here, Marauders of Horsemen, uh, Marauders Horsemen Zinj. Here, put Chaos Knights. Just one of Chaos Knights or even Chaos War Shrine. Yeah, because War Shrine is less recruited. War Shrine here. And here. Oh god. Fuck. Burning Chariot of Zinj. I hate that unit so much. It's so shit. But could be that. I still think a tier 5 should have some kind of reward. But the amount of unit available is really limited. So I, if you put three, four units, like I suggested with dwarves, it would be detrimental to build any military building. So here there should be just, I would, to the monogods uh, buildings, I would just give one for each from, from each tier. So tier five, get the burning chariot, uh, chariot of Zinj or Doom Knights of Zinj, units that are not very represented. As demonic, same goes here, I I would say... Oh god, there is no demonic here. 
Maybe Pink Horrors. No, because Pink Horrors, that would be broken. Zangors. Maybe Zangors here. Here, maybe here Pink Horrors. Because yeah, there is not a love demonic. So tier 3 gives you access to Pink Horrors that are superior, you know. Su pink Horrors compared to Blue are superior. So this is decent jump. And no, this, this should be also Marauders. No, it, you cannot switch it. Demons, non-demons. Marauders should be on this tier. Pink Horrors, maybe Marauder Horsemen, stuff, I don't know. I, I think if we would go to this, if this idea would go through, I would help definitely develop. This is idea that formed, I don't know, 20 minutes ago and uh, while I was thinking about your, your video legend. So this is my response. And I'm very interested what do you think about it. And I'm very interested what you all guys think about it. I think there should be definitely an uh, option to skip recruiting as it is with uh, warp and upgrade for each faction. There should be some some kind. I'm, I'm not saying, look, look, mod doesn't give me many options, but it gives me options. And that same thing should be available for every faction. Just a couple of units that you can upgrade by the experience. And if you go and... And, and you know develops settlement it should be rewarded with units available as for the minor settlement i think as it is now one type of unit maybe maybe to i don't know tier three because often you don't have major settlement no it should be tied to major settlement only not the in in in, in capital of a province because that would be too too powerful. I think that would be too powerful to major mi mi minor settlements provide you. Because if you go, I don't know. Let me go and attack here, right? New province. Actually, no, that's crap. Okay. Demon's Gate. Ah, crap. I need. But let's say Demon Gate is a minor settlement, okay? Let's say uh, Sinhol Monolith is a main province. So I'm going. And I'm conquering minor settlement. And I, if I have, let's say I have a tier three somehow magically, and I have already some units available. I lost, I lost some, and I can replenish, I can replace them nicely. No, that would be, that would be too easy. I think that would disturb the balance of a game. So for, for the sake of balance, it should be major settlements rewarding for developing it. And this way we would use units we never used because we would have them available without building. A lot of units are decent. I mean, everything can be useful. Depends on a situation and av availability. So I hate great weapons and dwarves. Uh, I think they should not be on the same tier like shielded variant. But I would use them all day, every day, if I could recruit them and nothing else in my options. They would be way better than fucking miners. And that's it from me today. I'm interested in your opinions. Uh, subscribe if you like what I do. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye bye.